So this video is about the digital autoreflectometer and keratometer. And the model number is KR800. And in this video, we are going to learn about different sections, different components, different parts. How can we make the power adjustment? And how can we diagnose the cataract with the help of this autoreflectometer? So let's start the video. So today's our video is about the refractometer, the autoreflectometer. And we have a special edition of AutoRef, which is Topcon Auto Kerato Refractometer, and the model number is KR800. So let's discuss about the different parts, different functions, and different components of this KR800 AutoRef. So there are two different sections, and the front section is called the main body section. This is main body section, which is a frontal view of this autoref. And now, this section is called, this part is called the head of the autoref, the measuring head of the autoref. And now, this knob is actually the chin rest up and down knob. And as you can see, the chin rest is moving upward as I am rotating. And now, it is going down. So, we can change the position of the chin rest according to the patient right and now this one is called the base stopper right i have unlocked the whole body of the rtf as you can see and now i can move this body to the right and to the left side right and now it's locked again and now it's unable to move and now this button this button is actually called the measurement switch this button and if i can press this button to take the different readings of the patient refractive error right and this rotating knob is called the joystick and if i'm moving this joystick the whole body is moving up and down as you can see now this is called the printer cover we have printer papers inside and if I press this button yes you can see the printer papers and you have to make it close properly if I can close it yes now it's properly closed and now this screen is called the control panel and we will learn about the different settings on this whole screen. And now this is called the chin rest section. Right. And this is called the forehead rest. And this is important. This is called eye height mark. Right. This is eye height mark on the both sides as you can see. And you have to take care that the lateral canthus of the patient as you can see, this is lateral canthus of the patient. This lateral canthus should be aligned with this line. And you can see it is properly aligned with the lateral canthus of the patient. Right. These are the chin rest tissues. And you can remove these tissues after every patient to avoid any germs So by moving the knob, as you can see, the chin rest is moving upward and downward. We have already learned about it. And now, this hole is actually called the measuring window. The patient will look inside and the view inside is like this. You can see a house far away. And now we will learn the different settings and take care that do not touch a pointed thing or two fingers simultaneously inside the screen because the screen is totally touch. And if I press this ID button, you can write down the name of the patient about 13 digits. So my name is Horam. You all know. So this is my name, this is patient's name, patient's ID actually of 13 digits 
right as you can see the patient's name or patient's id is there and now these are actually the clicks how many measurements you want you want one two or three so right now the right is orange in color so this is a spherical cylinder axis and these are keratometer readings and right now the setting is on auto and keratom so we have both the diffraction readings and keratometer readings and now we have only auto ref readings and now we have only at this setting keratometer setting we have k readings for the corneal curvature and now the both the refraction as well as the keratometer now i have unlock again and as you can see right now right one and this is left one the orange color is in left so right now at right we can move at right side for right eye and left side for left, right, left. now this setting is actually for auto or manual method or manual setting so right now it is manual and now it's auto so if I adjust my patient he will put his chin on the chin rest I can adjust the chin rest and now this is manual setting you know, as you see and I'm taking the measurements manually we have to target the central dot on the cornea so I'm taking it manually right so I have take three readings and now I'll take auto readings you see that the auto ref took the auto readings itself and now for the left I and you can see the auto ref is taking the self clicks for the reflection and K readings now this is important if I click on this setting you can see this is auto shoot cataract and you can diagnose the cataract easily with this setting if patient is cataractus now this is H and L H mean high and L mean low you can increase the brightness inside as you can see or at the L or low the brightness is low as you can see and now this is for the fog this is important you want minimum fog or maximum fog inside this is for to relax the accommodation because while we are taking the measurements the accommodation of the patient should be relaxed so you can change the fogging effect now this setting is for the target the target button and if I press this button you can see the dot is exactly at the center of the cornea and if I press this button this setting the previous history of the patient the recent patient is there so spherical cylinder and axis of the right eye and this is spherical of the left cylinder of the left left and axis of the left and average is below so if you want to go behind or back so we are at the main screen and this is for the print so if I press this printer section setting oh oops patient ID is not there so we have to write the patient's ID so I will write my name again so now let's check the printer is working or not patient's ID is there so if I click here so let's wait for the print yes the print is there so we have all the measurements on our printer paper so let's read it out so we have let's let me adjust so we have date time 
patient's ID, serial number, right? We have vertex distance and we have sapphire cylinder axis and the right eye and we have spherical equivalent which is minus 1.5 and these are for the left eye pd is 66 now this is for the corneal diameter we have to if you want to measure the corneal diameter you can easily measure if i click here you can see two vertical lines on the screen right and you can you have to put these two lines at the corneal margin right you can increase or decrease as you can see the vertical lines on the right side is increasing and now it's decreasing and this is left line increasing or decreasing here so you can vary these vertical lines according to the corneal diameter and if I press you can see 8 is actually ambiguous corneal diameter but it is not normal corneal diameter so you can increase or decrease according to the patient's diameter right so if I increase from the both side now it's it is 9 so it depends on the patient's corneal diameter right I'm going back again and this is eraser if I press the whole setting will be vanished right and now we will go to the settings if you want to change the setting or renew the setting so burst sound it's on right print auto shoot is on right auto printer is on printer output is on id is off right now you can on if you want so it's on now right so i have to no display of the patient's id is on patient's id is on device id number is one right so let's check more settings so display of device of start time of sleep mode is 10 minutes you can vary if you want so number of auto shoots right number of clicks it could be one or two three four five six seven eight right it depends on you so our setting should be at three we have to click three measurements of the one eye right or left right this is fog timing once you can change you want fog every time or at once so we want fog at every time date and time is there so fair to cylinder is 0 0.25 you want or if you want 0 0.12 it's your choice so access step is five degree or one degree right we want five degree so five degrees better i think so vertex distance is there so it's zero one two or one three point seven five this is vertex distance 